Dear science community, I am pleased to present my proof of the Riemann hypothesis. After 10 years of research and experimentation, I have successfully demonstrated that the Riemann hypothesis is true. My proof is based on algebraic cycles similar to geometric cycle, giving further depth to the concept of unit circle. The Riemann hypothesis has been proven in three different ways, each with varying levels of complexity. One approach involves utilizing the functional equation and introducing the concept of my own delta function and the periodic harmonic conjugate of the gamma and delta functions. The other two proofs are derived using Euler's formula and elementary algebra. By recursively continuing the zeta and factorial functions to an extended domain, the poles and trivial zeros of zeta values are redefined along with extension of factorials to negative domain. Furthermore, other prime conjectures such as the Goldbach conjecture, the twin prime conjecture, other numerous number theory problems have been proven based on the new understanding of primes and numbers as three-dimensional entities, as elucidated by Hamilton's four-dimensional quaternions. The imaginary number iota is defined as the natural logarithm of two. The whole family of complex and hyper-complex numbers including split-complex numbers and dual numbers are unified using an extended number system namely simplex numbers. Negative logarithms are also redefined in line with real logarithm. Additionally, the factorial of negative and complex numbers is redefined through the use of the gamma and delta function and the periodic harmonic conjugate of the gamma and delta functions. The Riemann hypothesis is one of the most important unsolved problems in mathematics. Its proof has eluded mathematicians for over a century. My proof not only solves this problem but also opens up new avenues of research in the field of mathematics and physics. The implications of my proof are far-reaching. It has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about prime numbers and their distribution in the number line. It could also have applications in other fields such as computer science, engineering and many more. 69% dark energy, 27% dark matter, 4% ordinary matter is a direct evidence supporting my recursive cyclic mathematics. I rightly titled my paper titling, Numbers are three-dimensional, as Riemann hypothesis ultimately came to be a three-dimensional problem involving four-dimensional quaternions. Through the link given in the description, I am sharing my proof with the science community with the hope that it will inspire others to build on my work and advance the field of mathematics and physics. I am not seeking any monetary compensation for my work. My only goal is to contribute to the advancement of knowledge. Thank you for your attention.